dominated by robot overlords. There's always these guys to save the day. They are like little toys almost. Expensive little toys, I'll say that. But they're like fancy toys, basically. Don't be fooled by their cute looks. These bots can boldly go where no human dares. The nature of our product is to go places where people can't go, shouldn't go, dangerous places, confined spaces. I'm Alan Doucette. I'm the Quality Control Manager here at Anuctin Services. Anuctin is a custom robotic slash camera manufacturer. Sort of our niche is solving people's problems through robotics. Anuctin's remote operated vehicles feature tilt and pan video cameras, giving real-time access to out-of-the-way places. Underwater, under a ship's hull, nuclear power plants, if they need to get down into radiated areas, a robot can go in there. For 9-11, for example, the U.S. military needed search and rescue robots. Uh, a team at Anuctin stayed around the clock 24 hours designing battery pack, uh, got the robot and the battery pack onto an F-14 fighter jet, flown directly to New York to search for survivors. Thankfully, most of Anuktun's missions are not life or death. Day-to-day -day stuff is mostly pipe inspection kind of stuff. We're heavily involved more into the magnetic crawler stuff now, where we can stick something to a steel surface. It sticks, you can drive it horizontally, vertically, all those sorts of things. The tracks of each ROV contract and expand to fit any sized pipe. One of our typical robots that we make is a, a micro-mag or a mag-UT, which is a small track-driven chassis that has magnets, a pan and tilt camera typically. This is driven with a controller from the top end. It's very simple, intuitive with the controller, like a joystick. It's just like a plane. So you can steer it inside the pipe. That gives you control to go around bends and that sort of stuff. Oh boy. Today, Alan is relying on those steering skills for a big job. We're getting ready for an inspection at Harmac Pulp Mill, and we figured we'd give this guy a little trial run in our pipe here. We don't want any uh, failures on site, so everything's tested up front. This crawler is ready to roll. First thing we're gonna need to do is get the table sort of set up over there. So we'll just get that close to the pipe. The Harmac mill takes wood chips by the truckload and creates a product that's used for everything from shower curtains to hospital gowns to diapers. What Anukta's doing for us is they're looking at a pretty important pipeline that's part of that plant. And it's a pipe that's underground, so we can inspect it from anywhere else. The pipe we're looking at recirculates the bacteria into the process. If we don't recover those, then they end up being disposed of in a landfill. The 100-meter pipe isn't just underground. It's got three sharp curves, all at 90 degrees. One of the ones that we're concerned about is when we get down to the bottom of the pipe, there's a, a Y split, which will leave a giant hole for one of our tracks. And what I'm nervous about is it getting to that hole and then it expanding mechanically and getting stuck. So we're just trying to find our limits here as to how far we can go safely without getting the vehicle stuck. While the crawler isn't saving lives today, it could save the folks at Harmac days of production, and that means dollars. If the pipe integrity degrades, then we get leaks, and that's not a good thing. It means we have to shut down the process. If those pipes get to a point where uh, there is a catastrophic failure, then obviously uh, we need to swing into action. Lift with your knees, and your back, not your back. Two sides here. I'm not 100% sure what we're gonna see today. You ready? You want to give me some lights, Dave, please? It's lights, camera, and action as the crawler makes it past the first bend, no problem. There's debris from the pipe everywhere, but the crawler makes it past the second bend and heads for the third, and then... Well, that's not good. So we did get around that corner then. Partway, but you're, it's endoed on its nose right now? Yeah. So that's why it's not getting any traction. At the third bend in the pipe, the crawler appears to be stuck. But thanks to another key design feature, there's always a way out. 
Tether is the lifeblood of the vehicle. It has all the power, comms, video. It is also interlaced with Kevlar, which we tie off and have a Kellum's grip so that if we need to give that thing a good pull, we can safely pull on that tether. And a good pull does the trick. Crisis averted and mission accomplished. There's a lot of stuff in here. And there is uh, obviously some corrosion from the steel. We were able to tell that because it was all sticking to the magnets. The pipe condition looks to be in pretty good shape overall. I don't see anything abnormal as far as any big rust spots or deterioration or anything like that. And that's good news for the folks at Harmac. Inukton's been in town a long time and we have used their products via other contractors, but to have them out here and working directly is, is a good thing. That's not bad for a tour. Come find me.